All right, let's go ahead and work through a practice problem together that has to do with figuring out the charge of an ion. So we've looked at these types of table problems before where we're given some information and we need to fill in the rest. This table says that we have an atom with 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and 18 electrons. Now our ape man is never going away. So if we know we have 17 protons, let's go ahead and write down that the atomic number, again, A, atomic number, is equal to P, the amount of protons. So our atomic number is 17. Let me get this down to a reasonable size. And we'll put our writing in red so it's easy to see. So we have an atomic number of 17. We can then find the mass number. Again, ape man, M, mass number, is equal to A, atomic number, same as the number of protons, plus uh, N, the number of neutrons. So we need to add together our protons and our neutrons, AKA our atomic number and our neutrons. If I do some quick math, 17 plus 18 equals 35. So my mass number should be 35 AMU. Let's see if I can pull that over a little bit more. All right, now we need the charge. We need to know if it's a cation, anion, or neutral. And we also still need the symbol. Let's tackle the symbol real quick before we take on the new stuff. We can find the symbol using our atomic number. We're going to go ahead and look at a picture of our periodic table. Whoops. Not that picture. Here we go. Our periodic table. If we find atomic number 17, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, we can see we're looking at a chlorine atom. So I will go ahead and write CL, our symbol for chlorine right here. Now here comes the new stuff, our charge. Remember, to find the charge of an atom, you need to take the number of protons and subtract the number of electrons. So 17 minus 18 actually gives us a negative number. It gives us negative one. Since this is a negative ion, meaning it has extra electrons, we know it is an anion. Because our anions have a negative charge, they have an extra electron or more. And now we have filled out this entire table. 